Will's going to do something really special. I want us to pray because I know God's going to use this, and I just can't wait to hear it. So let's pray for Will. Lord, thank you. I give this time to you, Lord, and I pray that you would calm Will's heart. Lord, speak through him. You know exactly what it is that he's going to say. God, I pray that you would use him in a mighty way to draw people to you. In your name I pray, amen. In Genesis, Jesus Christ is the seed of a woman. In Exodus, he is our Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he is our high priest. In Numbers, he is the pillar of a cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is our prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he is captain of salvation. In Judges, he is a judge and lawgiver. In Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In Ezra, he is our true and faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he's the builder of broken wall, down walls and human life. And Esther, he is our Mordecai. And Job, he is our ever living redeemer. And Psalms, he is our shepherd. And Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our wisdom. And Songs of Solomon, he is our loving bridegroom. And Isaiah, he is Prince of Peace. And Jeremiah, he is our righteous branch. And Lamentations, he is our weeping prophet. And Ezekiel, he is the call for sin. And Daniel, he is the fourth man in life's fiery furnace. And Hosea, he's the faithful husband, forever married to the backslider. And Joel, he's the baptizer and Holy Ghost and fire. And Amos, he's our burden bearer. And Obadiah, he is mighty to save. And Jonah, he is our foreign missionary. And Micah, he's the messenger of God's beautiful feet. And Nahum, he's the avenger of God's elect. And Habakkuk, he's pleading for revival. And Zephaniah, he is our savior. And Haggai, he is our store of God's lost heritage. And Zechariah, he is our fountain. And Malachi, he is the son of righteousness, rising with healings in his wings. And Matthew, he is the king of the Jews. And Mark, he is his servant. And Luke, he is the son of man, feeling what you feel. And John, he is the son of God. And Acts, he is the savior of the world. And Romans, he is the righteousness of God. And 1 Corinthians, he is the rock that followed Israel. In 2 Corinthians, he is the triumphant one giving victory. In Galatians, he is your liberty. He sets you free. In Ephesians, he is the head of the church. In Philippians, he is your joy. In Colossians, he is your completeness. In 1 and 2 Thessalonians, he is your hope. In 1 Timothy, he is your faith. In 2 Timothy, he is your stability. In Titus, he is truth. In Philemon, he is your benefactor. In Hebrews, he is your, ben, her, your perfection. In James, he's the power behind your faith. In 1 Peter, he is your example. In 2 Peter, he is your purity. In 1 John, he is your life. In 2 John, he is your pattern. In 3 John, he is your motivation. In Jude, he is the foundation of your faith. In Revelation, he is your soon coming king. He's the first and last, beginning and end, keeper of creation and creator of all. He's the architect of the universe and manager of all times. He always was, he always will be unmoved, unchanged, undefeated, and never undone. He was bruised and brought healings. He was pierced in his pain. He was persecuted and brought freedom. He was dead and brought life. He has risen and brings power. He reigns and brings peace. The world can't understand him. The armies can't defeat him. The schools can't explain him. The leaders can't ignore him. Herod couldn't kill him. The Pharisees couldn't confuse him. The people couldn't hold him. Nero couldn't crush him. Hitler couldn't silence him. The New Age couldn't replace him. And of course, Oprah couldn't explain him away. He is light, love, longevity, and Lord. He's goodness, kindness, gentleness, and God. He's he is holy, righteous, mighty, powerful, and pure. His ways are right and his word is eternal. His will is unchanging and his mind is on me. He is my redeemer. He is my savior. He is my God. He is my peace. He is my joy. He is my comfort. He is my Lord and he rules my life. <laughs> 